an Italian fella. We're going to Coney Island at the weekend. But do you have a bathing costume? Why didn't you tell me to put my costume on underneath my clothes? I thought you'd know. Clip right there from Brooklyn. Opened up the Vancouver International Film Festival last night and the director of that very movie, John Crowley, on the BT couch right now. Thanks for being here and My congratulations pleasure. on this film. Thank you. So many great themes and messages. Uh, one of the, the big ones that stands out that home is where the heart is and I think the universal chord this strikes is when you move to a new country, all the emotions you experience, you throw in love. Uh, this one resonates on so many levels. Yeah, well, I hope. I mean, you know, in lots of ways it's a story for anybody who ever left home as it were you know and um, especially anybody who's ever moved to a new country and found themselves in that slight, slightly discombobulated place where you're no longer from the place that you've left when you go back there and the experience that happens to you when you go to a new country changes you slightly it changes your view of your homeland and um, you're certainly not from the new country that you've adopted either so you become a member of a third race in exile as it were and that's that's the story and you experienced that that firsthand and that makes this story for you as a director that much more personal I did, and as did Saoirse. Um, we both left Ireland and moved to another country and um, we're both quite struck by how um, homesick we were and this is sort of 15 years apart as it were and um, I don't know I mean I think when I was young I thought that homesickness was the sort of preserve of people who moved to new countries and um, I had very hard times and couldn't go home for a long period of time and you know when I moved to London I was part of what was called the Ryanair generation which was the cheap airline generation you could fly back home any time you wanted to there was no problem and yet I felt profoundly homesick and it was not about just missing home it is about what I was talking about about being in exile is that you're no longer from the place you've left and nor are you from the place that you've acquired as a home either it's um, it's a very particular condition and you know with the conditions that are conveyed on screen a lot of great acclaim coming for this movie but also for Saoirse Ronan in this film what makes her such a dynamite actress and do you think something great could seriously come of this when it comes to the accolade I think that she's always been an exceptional actress. I mean, she proved herself to be an amazing child actress, especially with Atonement, and that was her first sort of breakout performance in a way. But, I, you know, I, like a lot of other people, have been waiting for the performance where she would show that actually she had the chops to be a major adult actress, and this is the performance where she shows the full range of what she can do as an actress. She's in every single scene in the film. She's very, very funny and heartbreakingly sad, and then wise and profound and it's amazing and she has an astonishing face I, I've often said that she's an actress who could have had a career in the silent movies because it's so expressive her face and, and as to will great things come for her yeah I don't I don't doubt that they will I have no idea what in terms of the you know what what lies down there the road for her but I I think the most exciting thing is watch that space with the career this there's, there's some amazing work going to come from that actress and you get to be a part of this journey and I think and we were just chatting during the break the the one big indicator of a movie being a success is you feel emotion and uh, that definitely is prevalent in this film when you're sitting there as the director at a film fest like you were last night what is the experience like knowing it's a different audience you can't change anything on, on this film and you just got to feel that 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 live reaction uh, one bit of it's very nice of course you know because um, you know the first 10 minutes are always terrifying and you're anxiously listening for is there any ripple of a laugh? Is there any ripple of reaction? Is the silence a good silence? Is it the silence of, of, a, of a large number of bored people? And then at a certain point in the film, it just it, it sort of shifts and you, you relax yourself. And then you can kind of almost see the film for the first time through that audience's eyes. It's a, it's a very strange thing. And you can enjoy parts of it as if for the first time. And you know, when you look at the culture and diversity here in Canada, how did the Vancouver audience receive this movie compared to other audiences around the world that have had the uh, the the joy of previewing this already. It was very special, especially you know, last night, and, and we'll see how audiences take it as it goes on release. But, but it's exceptional for me to be able to show this film in a place where so many people are descended from men and women who made journeys very similar to the one that Saoirse's character makes in the film and not just from Ireland from anywhere in the world and that will have experienced that alienation and loneliness and determination to make a new life for yourself and to be in control of your own life uh, and which doesn't mean there's a happy ever after it comes with it it means there's an awful lot of sadness but it does mean that there's a way forward and and uh, I think that's what's special about her journey in the film is that you can feel an audience rooting for her wanting her 
to turn into the rather wonderful young woman she's flowering into in front of us, as it were. Well, I think a good movie gets people talking, and many people were buzzing about it last night. Again, Brooklyn is the film. Congratulations Thank you, yes. on this achievement. Uh, if you're checking out the Vancouver International Film Festival, another screening, uh, actually there are two more at the fest, one of which is tomorrow, so uh, check out the, uh, the festival's website for all of the details. And November 20th, mainstream distribution? Correct. All right, so we get the preview in Vancouver. That's the gift for you uh, film buffs out there.